hundreds of students are trying to sell their housing contracts for spring and summer. The problem is no one is buying. 11 News reporter Ali Davis tells us about why renters claim it's a housing monopoly and why landlords say it's just the way business is done. Yeah, Rachel, many students are finding themselves locked into year-long leases and say that Provo landlords are to blame. They end up paying rent for up to four months when they're often not even living in Provo anymore. BYU student Ariel Zelaya is trying to sell his spring-summer student housing contract. Well, was trying to sell it until he says it became impossible. And so we're just all kind of stuck here paying our full rent. Zelaya says buying a year-long contract was his only option. He'd only planned to attend school during the fall and winter semesters. Now he says he's stuck. I had originally planned on going back home, but I'll just be staying out here. Check out the Buy and Sell BYU Contracted Housing Facebook page, and you will see the number of students trying to sell their spring and summer contracts appears to greatly outnumber the buyers. One student posted saying she was in search of a spring-summer contract. 95 people offered to sell their contract to her. I took my concerns to the BYU off-campus housing office. Do you feel like it's a responsibility of BYU off-campus housing to protect students in their in a mandate from year-long contracts? We've chosen not to take that on. It's always on the table because we've got a really good relationship with uh, our property owners off-campus. Housing Office Director Gary Briggs says BYU has tried to protect students with a clause that allows students to get out of their contract if they are getting married or graduating. When they're finished with their education, we don't want them to be bound by a contract. They need to get to, on with their next chapter of their life. Off-campus housing wrote a letter to BYU contracted landlords saying, it's come to the off-campus housing attention that many landlords are misinterpreting or trying to avoid the intent of the graduation internship clause. We've got about 23,000 beds off campus. We can't beat all of them. We need the students who are living there who are on the front line. Real estate developer McKay Evans is building a new complex on Center Street and 100 East in Provo. He says landlords are in a tough spot. So the challenge is winter and fall, you have really high occupancy, and summer and spring, the occupancy goes down. Evans says it's extremely beneficial for developers to offer year-long contracts when they finance with the bank. They basically push that burden onto the student, locked them up for a long-term lease so they have that commitment, so their occupancy stays high. Somebody wanting to renew? Aspen Ridge management owner Hillary Davis says year-long contracts make it easier for landlords to do their job. Having that constant income helps them offset their expenses that are also constantly the same all throughout the year. Briggs says Provo Housing is market driven. So as long as students keep attending BYU, Zelaya and other students will still be trying to sell their contracts. If students use the graduation internship clause to get out of their contract, they still forfeit their security deposit, which could be up to $900 in some cases. That's almost two months of rent. So is this a problem for students on other campuses? Yeah, it actually is, Rachel. Uh, USC, Princeton, and the University of Western Connecticut, they all have similar Facebook pages to BYU. Students are in the same situation as students are right here. All right, thank you, Ellie.